Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From the beginning of a letter attributed to Barnabas. Hope of life is the beginning and end of our faith. Greetings, sons and daughters. In the name of the Lord, who loves us, peace be to you. Because the Lord has granted you an abundance of blessings, I rejoice immeasurably in your blessed and glorious company. You have received abundantly that indwelling grace which is the Spirit's gift. And for this reason, I hope in my own salvation, and I give thanks all the more when I see the bountiful fullness of the Lord's Spirit pouring over you. I have longed so much for you that when I saw you, I was overwhelmed. I am now convinced and fully aware that I have learned much by speaking with you. For the Lord accompanied me on the road to righteousness. And so I am driven in all ways to love you more than my own life. For surely there is a great store of faith and charity within you. Because of your hope for life in Christ. Therefore, I have been thinking that if my concern for you inspires me to pass on to you a portion of what I have received, then I will be rewarded for ministering to souls such as yours. Consequently, I am writing you that you may have perfect 
knowledge along with your faith. When evil days are upon us and the worker of malice gains power, we must attend to our own souls and seek to know the ways of the Lord. In those times, reverential fear and perseverance will sustain our faith and we will find need of forbearance and self-restraint as well, provided that we hold fast to these virtues and look to the Lord. Then wisdom, understanding, knowledge and insight will make joyous company with them. From the Desert With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.